supernatural exists. Just out of our reach. It's movement in the corner of your eye. Hello? I saw something. A sound down the hall in an empty room. There definitely seems to be activity going on. A tap on the shoulder when nobody is there. Is there anybody here? Yeah, I just heard that. That was not me. If you're able to hear us, we're just here to try to establish. We don't have the answers. All we can do is ask the questions and trust our skills, our experience, and each other. Ghost Hunters returns exclusively on Discovery Plus. Hey, Jason, Steve, Jeff in Las Vegas, good morning. Hey, Jeff, how's it going? Thanks for having us. Great to talk to you guys again. Ghost Hunters Taps returns on Discovery Plus. Uh, I've watched the few, first few episodes, just fantastic stuff, guys. And, uh, you know, Jason, the old Joliet prison, what a gruesome past, perfect location for this season. What did you find there? Well, the old Joliet prison, just, I mean, just the history and the things that went on there uh, to find out that all these inmates were brought in and they built a prison around them was, uh, was incredible enough. And uh, we, I mean, we were able to document some wild activity that we didn't know uh, the guys from Destination Fear had caught previously when they were there. Um, so just to have full access to the entire property and have the experiences we were able to and to be able to document them as, as uh, evidence was just a phenomenal experience, it really was. And Steve, you traveled to an Irish Catholic Scottish church that was location of a murder? Yeah, we actually, um, we did a, a place called uh, Church Beer, uh, Brew Works, uh, and, and that was a case that just aired uh, recently. Um, we actually come across, uh, I mean, it, it's sad to say, but we come across quite a few uh, murders and, and uh, you know, you could make a, a spin-off true crime show uh, on, on, you know, most of our uh, episodes there, sadly, you know, but uh, it, it, unfortunately, it's, it's fodder for, you know, what we get to do as investigators. Well, and even beyond that, I mean, we, some of the places we investigated, whether it be uh, Gaines, Kentucky, and a tavern that has just a gruesome past, or whether it's uh, a winery in Virginia on an episode that'll be coming up that we had to bring cadaver dogs into mm -hmm. to find where mm -hmm. all these bodies were buried um, and to have these dogs all marked that same spot to, uh, to let you know that, that that's where they are. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it's just, it's phenomenal being able to get in there and help these people out who, whether they're having paranormal issue or not, try to truly put the pieces of a puzzle together and, uh, and help them out in any way possible. And, and also Jason Meatloaf joins you this season, right? An old farmhouse in Tennessee. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Meat Meatloaf's been a good friend of ours for a long time. He's investigated with us a bunch of times in the past, and he kept on asking about coming out on a new uh, on another investigation. And we're in Tennessee. He's currently living in Tennessee now, so uh, he asked if he could come hang out with us. And of course, I mean, come on, he's a, he's a great guy. He's a close friend. He's a rock legend. He, you can't go wrong having Meatloaf there. Absolutely not. He's one of my favorites. And Steve, in over fifteen years of investigations together, it, it never gets boring. I'm sure. But any new equipment this season? Yeah, actually, uh, we've been, uh, actually, there was a, a device that uh, gave us one of our, uh, I think, coolest paranormal pieces of evidence and experiences that we, we've ever had. And it's a, a, a 360 uh, LIDAR, which mixes a bit of uh, laser uh, and uh, radar and really gives you a, a visual depiction. And uh, there were a few times that we used this device that, uh, we're, we're pretty precarious, but there's one time uh, you'll see uh, in an upcoming episode uh, really sends me, you know, a few steps back. It, it was quite uh, shattering in, in terms of what I've experienced. And uh, so that's, a, I think, one of my favorite new pieces of equipment. Uh, we, we have some new energy sensory uh, pieces of equipment that you'll see in, in the season. Uh, and of course, some new audio recording gear. And, and we really sort of have, have stretched out quite a bit. And one thing, Steve, about ghosts, man, they, they don't care about COVID, right? So uh, you can't catch anything from them. So you can just go <laughs> investigate all you want, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, good point. <laughs> still, have to take it, still have to take it careful when we're going to people's homes, of course. I Absolutely. Mean, you yeah, want to make yeah. sure you 
we don't bring anything to them and and uh, that could uh, cause that family any harm and we also want to make sure we don't catch anything and bring home to our families which could cause our family any harm so it's always still about taking precautions and and trying to help people out to the best of our ability in any way we can well guys ghost hunters is back to streaming on discovery plus thank you both for joining me this morning i uh, love the show and uh, let's talk again soon appreciate it thank you so much for having us thank you jeff appreciate it